Ooh, Lion CV, full time from the den via my spare room. It finishes Millwall nil, Watford nil. A brilliant, brilliant, brilliant performance. The players give absolutely everything. I can't fault any single one of them, and I can't fault the manager. Now, I said that at Huddersfield last week, so we need to back this up on Saturday away at Cardiff, but that will be another video for another day. Right here, right now, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to tell the truth. I can finally see a little bit of light at the end of a Gary Rowett tunnel, and I hope to God that that is true, and I hope to God that we can back it up and show that same level of desire, that same level of commitment, that same level of millwallness when we go to Cardiff on Saturday. We played very well at home to Brentford earlier in the season. Top teams don't seem to be the problem. The home form is an issue. I wasn't expecting, I was expecting worse than we got tonight. You cannot knock a point against a very, very good Watford side. The pitch and the conditions played into our hands because it stopped Watford from playing, but take nothing away. Nothing away from the team's performance tonight. We started well, we was in their faces. They had a little spell towards the back end of the first half where Bart makes one good save and they hit the post, yes. But the other end, Jake Cooper, oh, I'm saying that's a goal on first look. On reflection, it's tight and shock. We don't get any decisions. But that team tonight, we're close now. We're close in my opinion. Zahor's not scoring as much, but he's not getting about the pitch, running into channels. Full Jed was brilliant tonight. Give everything for the calls. Ben Thompson, give everything for the calls. Corn beef, Mikhail Kieftenbeld. Didn't do a lot early. Then he's absolutely snapped a Watford player in half, which I love. And he just seemed to give everyone on my live stream a boost, give me a boost. And after that, he clears one off the line at the other end. He puts some good forward passes. And he is a mill type player. So I'm going to back row it now and say he is much more of a mill type player than Woods. Not digging Woods out. Didn't think he had a bad game at all. But Keefton Bell is what we need at the club. And hopefully now Gary Rowett is learning from his previous mistakes. He's had to include Ben Thompson. And I don't think, by the way, he sees Ben Thompson as a central midfielder. He sees Ben Thompson as a nuisance further up the pitch, getting stuck in and just buzzing around like a bumblebee like Jed does. That's why sometimes you've got Jed on the left and Thompson on the left. Then you've got Thompson on the right, Thompson central, Jed in the stands, Thompson on his ass. But they give it everything. And I think they like playing together. And I think that's the answer, Ben Thompson. Ryan Leonard again, mate. Sensational. And I'll be tempted to not take him out the back three. But if we can get another centre-half in, I'll ship him back into the midfield and drop Woods in at the minute. That's the only change I would make. Mason Bennett's come alive now. Don't like it, does he? He wants his shirt back. And every time he comes on, he's now giving more for the shirt. We wasn't as productive as we always were. Of course, we had to disallow goal. But, sorry... I mean by that, the players that are usually quite productive in the final third, as in Bennett, as in Zahor, as in Jed, they wasn't, but they were deeper and they was giving more for the calls. And that is what we need to get to the end of this season. As I said, the conditions did help us and it didn't allow Watford to play at all, but take nothing away from us. Other than injury time, really, last five minutes, we give everything for the calls and I'm feeling good. And I can sense from the live stream, everyone was feeling good. 934 people, by the way, concurrent views in the live stream. So I'm absolutely over the moon with that. Thanks to everyone that tuned in from all over the world. And we move on again, and hopefully the team can move on. Nil-nil won't usually have it. Can't stand it, especially in the live stream. But that was a proper meal performance. Buzzing with the new signing. Buzzing with the boys. And please, God, let's hope he's got to go and change Saturday, if everyone's fit and well, that we can carry it forward and find some level of consistency. Because as I said, midweek games, away games, don't seem to be our issue, really. It's home games and on a Saturday. So... We are away Saturday, away to Cardiff, of course. I think they're managing this. Mick McCarthy's on the way back. Big Mick, fuck me, how's that happened, by the way? But a good point on the board. We now need to build on this. And I'll be honest, I can see a light at the end of the tunnel for Rowett. And I will take every fucking last slice of hate that I get if he turns it around. But if he does turn it around, remember this. He's brought in Keith and Bill now. He's got Danny Mac back, which I said he should. He's in court. Ben Thompson has forced his way into his thinking through his sheer determined performances for Millwall and his desire to play for the club. So with Conor Mahoney and Billy Mitchell also going to be fit very, very soon, it's a good point and we're in a lot better position than we have been for a long time. I got a bit tonight, a happy man. Please subscribe to Lions TV. I'm smiling. Come on, you Lions.